In this tutorial, we will look at how we can go in and edit a, the test settings once we have created a test. So first thing I need to do is locate my test, which I have here. So I'm going to click it to open it. So I already have my question set up. Now I want to go into the test settings. So I'm going to click the gear to the right hand side. And here we have my details and information section. From here I can select the test due date by clicking the calendar. I can adjust the date and then I can click the little clock icon to adjust the time. Or I can also click in the box and just type the time there as well. Next I need to decide whether I want to allow late submissions. So I have two different options. The first option allows you to prohibit late submissions. So that means once that um, due date ends, the time runs out, whether the student is already in the test um, or if they started late, it's going to automatically submit the test for them. So if I want that option where they, they cannot go past 5 p.m., then I would need to select this box here. Then you also have this one here as well, which prohibits new attempts after the due date. So if students go, come and try to take the test after 5 p.m. on the 7th of April, then they would not be able to take that. You can see once I selected this one, that it automatically selected this one for me here. Now I can go in where I don't want the top one selected, but I can select the bottom one. But if you select the top one, the bottom one will be selected as well. And again, this prohibit new attempts will means where they cannot go in and access the test after the due date. Allow conversations is not something that you would really use for a test. So we're going to skip that. But then we have the option where we can randomize questions. So I want to turn that on. I just click the check box, the check here. And then we can also randomize the answer choices as well. You'll notice that this only works for multiple choice and matching um, questions. So if I want to turn that on, I will select that. And then we'll scroll down to the grading and submission section. So if you use categories in your um, course, maybe you created a category for an exam, um, for the midterm or the final, you can select, the, select that category from here. If you have them, they will be listed here. So I can change this from test to exam so that it matches up whatever I have on my syllabus. If you want to allow additional attempts, select the box here, and then you can decide how many attempts you want them to have for it. We'll say this one, they have two. And then when I do, you see once I did um, select to have more attempts, I have to decide which one will be graded. So by default, it's gonna say with the last attempt, but um, with a grade, or you can say, I actually want the highest grade. Scroll down to grade using. You have options here. You can do um, points, percentages, or letters. Most people use points, but you can select whichever one fits you. We're going to leave it for points for now. And you'll see that because I only had my two questions on the test, um, I have a question that's worth two points and one worth 15 points. I can, that's how my test is worth 17 points. If I wanted to adjust this right here, I would have to go back in and adjust how many points each of the questions is worth. Okay, so some of the other settings you'll see, they'll be grayed out based on the um, type of test or if you have students in the course. So if they're grayed out, that means they are not available to you. So we're going to scroll past these and go down to the assessment results. So here you have um, the automated question feedback. It says available after submission by default. If you want to change that, you'll simply click here. And then you can decide, do you want to show the automatic feedback? after the submission, after the due date, or after all grades are posted or on a specific date. If you select on a specific date, you would again get the calendar and the clock so that you can adjust those. We're going to go back to after submission though. And then you can show question scores again after all individual grade is, um, is posted, um, after uh, the due date, after all grades are posted or on a specific date. So we can say after all grades are posted. And then you can decide whether or not you want to show the correct answers. By default, this one is not checked. However, if you would like for the students to be able to see the correct answers, then you can check that box here and then decide when you want them to see that as well. Once you have selected all these options, you would click Save. And it's going to take you back to the, the, um, to the settings page where you can go down to the next option, which is Question Scores. So questions by default, the question scores are available after grades are posted. If you would like to change that, 
Again, that's that same panel here where you could adjust those. And I'm going to click the X just to go back. And then also scrolling back down again, that option for the correct um, answers, which we saw on that page before. If I click here, I can adjust. Say I changed my mind, I can uncheck the box for correct answers. And then I would need to make sure that I save those options there. Okay, and then we'll scroll back down again. If you want your test to um, require a lockdown browser, you could select that here and it's going to take you to the lockdown browser, which we do have additional tutorials on, on if you're interested in how that particular feature works. But if you want to enable that for the exam, you would click here and then it would take you through the process of enabling the, the respondents lockdown browser. If you want to set a time limit, you would click add time limit here. And then I can say this one, I want it to be 60 minutes. And then it's, you have your submission rules. Work is automatically saved and submitted when time expires. Or students have extra time after the work, um, after the that time limit expires. You'll see that I can, and then I can select here how much time um, the students have. And this is for the entire class, not for an, an, an individual student. If you need that for an individual, individual student, you would do that another way. But we're going to say that works. Um, it's automatically submitted when the time expires. And once I've saved that, I click the X here. Again, I'm going to scroll back down. And then I can add in a description for the, uh, the test. This test covers chapter, chapter 2. And you have 60 minutes to complete it. Once I have all of my settings saved, uh, I've set, I can click save. It'll save them and apply them to the exam. And then I can go up here to um, edit the settings of when I want my students to see it. So if it's hidden right now, I can say that it's visible to them. Or I can select release conditions would allow them to only see it after a certain date or time. But for now, we're going to leave it hidden. And that is how you set the test settings for your exam in Blackboard Ultra.